Our company is part of the Kurovsk Drug Manufacturing Holding Company. Our company has a variety of equipment for the production of medicines, from a peltizer to an automatic self-adhesive labeling line. At the end of the year we modernized, and began replacing the equipment that was morally and technically obsolete. I have been working as a chief engineer for 15 years, and I know all the technological processes in the company very well. I chose new equipment to replace the technically unsuitable one myself, coordinating it with the management before purchase. It was not an easy job, there is a lot of equipment on the market, many processes have changed and become automated. In pharmaceutical production it is very important to control the quality of raw materials and finished drugs. Plans for modernization included the purchase of a blistering machine, which is used for automatic formation of cellular packaging from PVC roll material. The machine automatically fills the cells with gelatin capsules. After the cells are filled, the equipment seals the surface of the blisters with aluminum foil. The main effect on the capsule shell is moisture. Being in the individual cell of the blister, the gelatin capsule is protected as much as possible. The machine we had was constantly being repaired and did not provide the necessary performance and sealing of the capsules. Since I had already selected many different machines for our facility, I had a lot of experience in selecting and remained in contact with some reliable equipment manufacturers. I began contacting the manufacturers by telephone to find out whether they could produce a blister machine. As the main criteria I specified automatic control, high quality stainless steel equipment material, the capacity of 10,000 blisters per hour. I first contacted a company in Germany, which offered me automatic equipment for packaging capsules into aluminum blisters, but they specified that the whole process of delivery, customs clearance and installation of the equipment was not included in the price. Delivery could have been delayed and I declined, then I contacted the company from Russia. She said that they do not make this type of machine, but if we can wait, they are willing to design and manufacture a blister machine, but it will not be until next year. I was not prepared to wait that long, since I could not find a manufacturer of automatic equipment for packaging capsules into PVC blisters. I decided to take a different route and consult with professionals who work in the pharmaceutical equipment supply industry and maybe suggest another machine option. I searched on the internet for an intermediary from Russia because I once had a bad experience delivering equipment from a Chinese intermediary when a powder filling line was brought to us, but there were no installation documents or technical passport. It took us a long time to set up the line. We consulted with the manufacturers on the phone, although they were reluctant to talk to us. I chose three vendors online. I looked at the firm's time in the pharmaceutical supply market, the company's website, and the machine's delivery terms as criteria. All the companies I called to make sure of the professionalism of their managers. A specialist from one company said to wait for five minutes, but she never listened to me. I didn't like such attitude to the customer. The manager, a man, talked to me like a professional. He asked me specific questions about the desired productivity of the machine, told me about the terms of delivery. During the consultation he suggested an automatic machine for packing capsules into PVC blisters, which I was able to quickly negotiate with the company management. The machine was acceptable in characteristics and price. Within a week we concluded a contract for the supply of equipment. A month after signing the contract, we received the automatic equipment for packaging capsules into PVC blisters. The manager provided the manufacturer's warranty, technical passport of the equipment, drawings and operation manual. We installed the machine. The red yellow capsules from the rotating hopper go into the cells of the blister. Computer assesses the fullness of the cells and controls the absence of the capsule. The aluminum foil coming from the roll covers the PVC and is welded by heating. Then there is an automatic cutting into blisters of 10 gelatin capsules in each. The working area of the equipment is covered with plastic shields to protect it from contamination. I was satisfied with the result of the work done. Of course, I understand that I could not have solved the problem without competent advice. Experience has shown that no matter how confident you are in your abilities, the help of a specialist will speed up the solution of the problem and free up time that can be spent with benefit to yourself.